Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and in today's video, we are going to be looking at the secret ending of Little Nightmares 2. That's right, I did do a full playthrough of this game, but there is a little bit of a secret ending that you can unlock. It doesn't change the ending completely, but it gives you a little something extra which has massive story ramifications for the original Little Nightmares game. So in order to unlock this, guys, what we have to do is collect up all of the glitching remains, which are like the ghosts' children glitches we see throughout the game. We have to collect all of these and then replay the final chapter, chapter 5. So in this video, I'm going to show you all of the locations so you can collect these glitching remains for yourself. Yourself, and then we're gonna watch the secret ending. So sit back, relax, and let's go hunting some glitching remains. Okay, so first of all, chapter one, the first glitching remain. When you get to this bridge, you want to drop down, and instead of climbing up the other side, if we head on to the right here, you'll notice that there's a little pathway. This path, it leads down into a cave, as you can see. We have to kind of crawl down underneath all of these tree roots. And eventually we find this ominous scene here. It's kind of like the grave of a man who's been buried, or potentially a kid that's been buried, as there is a little glitching child next to it. So what we do is walk over to the glitching remain, touch it, and it will be consumed by Mono, and that's how we collect these different remains. And with that said, let's move on to the second one. Okay, so the second glitch, guys, once you've done the trap there, you've sprung that trap, instead of heading on, once you've fallen down the uh, tree trunk there, you want to go back and you want to climb underneath the fallen tree and you'll see this strange sight here. It's like a kid kicking a dead rat in a bear trap. Well, I think it's a bear trap. It might just be a rat trap, but either way, it's a dead rat. And uh, again, just walk over, touch the glitch, and he'll be consumed, and that's your second one done. The third one is found once we have left the hunter's house for the first time and we see there's this outside toilet. You need to get six to help you unlock the toilet, then climb onto the very dirty and blocked looking toilet seat and collect up that glitching remain. And that is the third one down. Okay, the next one is on the beach. You can't miss this one, it's really, really easy to find. Once they've crossed the river after shooting the hunter, there will be a glitched child standing next to this old TV set. Just walk over to him, touch his hand, and Mono will consume him, and that is all of the glitches that you can get in Chapter 1. So we're going to move on to Chapter 2. Okay, once we have jumped across this early section of Chapter 2, we've jumped across these boards and Six has caught us on the staircase up. We're going to go all the way up to the top here, and what the game wants us to do is to cross over on the right across this plank. However, we're not going to do that, we're going to go to the left, through this open doorway, and there, looking over the edge of the sort of ledge here, you'll see the fifth glitching remain. Next, once we enter the sort of outside of the schoolhouse, in the playground, just go over to this old sort of tricycle here, and you'll see there's a kid who seems to be crying next to the dumpster. And I don't know what they're crying about. Maybe someone's broken their toy. But either way, just consume them and let's move on. The next one is found in a locker next to where we need to unlock the elevator once we meet the teacher. You'll notice the door is discolored. Once we open it, you'll see some dead rats hanging there. A picture of the signal tower and of course, the glitching remain itself. So just collect it, and then let's move on to number 8. Okay, number 8 guys, we've got this locked door downstairs. Now upstairs on the right hand side of this staircase is the chess puzzle. Nice little puzzle that we get to solve in chapter 2. We're going to take the left side however, and once we've got to the top here, you'll notice there's an old noose hanging. Once we get closer to the noose, you'll see there's a glitching remain, who seems to have been hung in that very noose, and that's how he met his sticky end. Kind of morbid, that one. Next, just before we enter the canteen, we want to pull this trolley of trays out of the way and walk through the door that it was blocking. You'll see this really creepy sight of a chef that's just died in a meat locker. We're going to climb over his body, it's not very respectful, but we have to, and collect the glitching remain sat on top of the freezer above. 
Next, right at the end of chapter 2, when we're on the rainy streets just before we collect up Six's raincoat, head over here, you'll see this little sailboat made out of paper, and next to the sailboat, playing with it in the puddle, is a glitching remain. And that is number 10, so let's move on to chapter 3. Okay guys, an early section of chapter 3 when we enter the hospital, the game's going to want us to go to the right here, but instead of going to the right and continuing past this pair of scissors that you see on the ground here, you want to head backwards when you get to this point. There's a dead end at the top, you'll see there's this little sort of trolley, and next to the trolley is a little ghost girl, so we want to just consume her and then move on. Number 12, guys, just after we've left this very sort of memorable room, the game wants us to head downwards towards the screen. Instead, head all the way up past these mannequin arms in the storage area, and you'll see this kid's trying to collect his toy duck, which is on the second shelf up there. So let's just consume him, let his soul rest in peace, and uh, head on. Okay, number 13, this is a really cool one, guys. After we've dropped down into this room with the cheese and the toilet, just before we meet all the patient's hands as they smash through the cells to try and grab us, we want to head through these broken bars, and there's a very clever and very hidden area here through this doorway that's slightly ajar. You'll see in this room, guys, this is actually a room that we see referenced in the comics for Little Nightmares, and if you read the comics for Little Nightmares, you'll know exactly how this girl dies at the hands of a doctor. She dug a hole to try and escape, so let's just collect up her soul and move on. Number 14 is in the shower room. After we've turned the lights on, if you head to the back of the room, you'll see there's a box of soap here. Move the soaps out of the way, and there's a little vent that we can go into. So crouch down and sneak on inside the vent, and you'll have to take a little walk into another room. You'll hear some flies and you'll think, why are the flies in here? Once you enter it, you'll see exactly why. There's a rotting body in the bathtub, and the spirit of this body is looking up at it, glitching out. Let's lay it to rest, and uh, try and forget this horrible sight as we move on to Collectible 15. This is in Chapter 4, guys. We have now finished Chapter 3. We're on Number 15. If you're collecting them at the same pace as me, you should be on Collectible 15 as well. Now there's a sewer duct as soon as we leave the hospital and go back onto the streets of the Pale City. You want to climb all of the way down this ladder here. It's a very long ladder so don't drop because you'll die if you do, I've done that once. <laughs> and uh, at the bottom you'll see there's this little fishing spot. I don't know if it was going to catch much in the sewer system, but this little kid probably fell off and to his death and drowned. But he was a fisherman who lived down here, so let's collect up his soul and move on to number 16. Okay, so once you take the elevator up to the top of this kind of clock tower here, you're meant to go across to the right where there's the hole in the wall, but instead we want to move this little box out of the way, and then there's a secret entrance, a secret vent entrance here. So just go through the vents, little stroll to the other side, and you'll see a mattress, some hanging bottles, <laughs> there's a bird in one of those, very strange, and a kid who obviously died on the mattress in this hidden room, maybe he starved, I don't know. If he was eating birds from bottles then, it seems likely. Number 17 guys, just after we see this epic shot of the signal tower, you're meant to climb up uh, this little sort of trellis here, but instead of climbing the trellis, you want to head inside and underneath it, climb up these boxes, and then drop down into this room. This is really creepy, this room, it's kind of got rats in cages. And there's a kid trying to jump up to get to one of the rats. I don't know if he was teasing it or if he wanted food. I mean, it's a cruel world, isn't it, little nightmares? But either way, that's number 17. We're almost there now. We need one more soul. You will need to do a little sort of mini puzzle to get out of this room. You won't be able to reach the window there. So what you need to do is pull this box, or this cage, I should say, um, all the way across the room. I got a bit caught there, as you can see and that way you can reach the door handle and then you'll unlock this previously sealed door and reunite with six on the other side. The final one is Glitching Remain 18 and this is uh, one that you collect once you've gone down the coat hanger here, you've slid down the rope. Instead of continuing through that doorway on the right, you wanna head back out to this part that you've just slid past. It's a rainy rooftop 
and go over to the window behind the one that you smashed through. And once you climb inside here, you'll notice this cool little room where it's got a little statue of a lady, a little portrait of a lady from Little Nightmares 1, and also a glitching remain. This is our final one. Now, once we've collected this, guys, you can actually get another achievement called Unladylike by smashing the little porcelain doll of the lady. So if you want to get that achievement, just pick it up, chuck it across the room, it will break, and then there you go, your trophy or achievement, depending on where you're playing, will pop. Okay guys, so we've collected up all of the secrets now, and then we get to the ending. Now you need to play through chapter 5 to see the secret scene. I'm showing you, of course, at the moment, the normal ending. Now you'll still need to watch the normal ending because it doesn't radically change the ending, it just gives an extra scene at the end for context. Now I'm going to shut up in a minute so you can watch the scene without me talking over it in peace. But this extra scene has massive story ramifications and basically shows us that this Little Nightmares 2 was a prequel and not a sequel and I will be doing a full story explained video tomorrow guys so tune in for that to see all of my theories on Little Nightmares 2 it's a massive half an hour long video that you'll be able to see the whole story explained in with that said guys enjoy the secret ending which occurs after this one ends which of course you will see if you've collected all of the glitches like we have in this video remember if you have enjoyed today's video guys to like comment and subscribe and I will see you all in the next one. Enjoy the secret ending.